Okay, well, it's quite fitting that today on First Responders Day, the Shooters, Fishers, and Farmers Party comes out standing shoulder to shoulder with our men and women in, in, in blue, and also the other emergency services and frontline services workers who've been affected by this government's decision on this pay freeze of the 2.5%. Uh, the Shooters, Fishers, and Farmers Party, uh, and myself and this former police officer know of over 22 years, the risks you men and women have taken to keep our community safe during this pandemic crisis. The great work you have done, potentially exposing yourselves and your families. Now is not the time for a slap in the face. The government should be rewarding those who have helped us. The Shooters, Fishers and Farmers Party are proud today in the Upper House to represent the public servants in New South Wales, especially those working in the front line that have supported the all of the communities in the bush and in Sydney and elsewhere in the state during this pandemic crisis. We will vote down the government's regulation to make sure that everyone gets their fair share of the money that needs proper support and proper distribution throughout the state during these tough times. We want the cash circulating in the bush just as much as we need it circulating in Sydney. Police throughout this pandemic have not done less. Uh, our emergency service workers and public servants have stepped up, uh, kept our communities safe and done so much uh, throughout our communities. In small communities in regional New South Wales, police are often the only 24 hour service that's available and they do so much more than police work. They add so much value to communities. Now is not the time to be pulling money out of our economies by putting in place a wage freeze.